I want to do a future video where I apply these decals and I explain to you in, uh, in technical terms, technical terms, technical terms, technical terms. If you're a model car collector or any collector for that matter, you've probably come across these. These are called water slide decals and a beginner can be very intimidated by these things, but don't worry. In this video I will show you how to apply these in a safe and good way. What you'll need for this video is actually pretty plain and simple and I will show you right away. First off, you will need water slide decals. Second thing you will need is this little bottle called Micro Set. Yeah, I will put a link down in the description where you can buy this and basically what it is. Uh, but you will basically be needing this as well. What's optional is this micro sole. It's basically the sole brother of micro set. Basically what micro sole is, is after you apply the decal, you can apply the micro sole so it can really get into those creases for a painted on look. But again, it's optional. Next item you will need is an X-Acto knife. Two pairs of these things, I'm not really sure what they're called in English, but I highly suggest you put this in your ear anytime Ed Sheeran comes on the radio. Next thing you will need, toothpicks. A brush, preferably just one that's not broken, but before shooting this video, mine broke on me, so I have to do with this. And last but not least, this is what the English like to call a bowl of water, but in plain English, a bottle of water, or a bowl of water for that matter. Before I forget, we need an example, right? I have the perfect example for this video. The Ferrari 643. My most recent video, but uh, I will show you how to apply the Marlboro uh, water slide decals. Without any further ado, Let's just begin. Well, basically just wing this, all right? All right, before I begin the procedure, I have to say I'm not a pro. This is the second time I do this, but first time was pretty well, so I'm pretty sure I know how to do this. There's basically your motor car, and it's very intimidating to work on a very expensive item like a motor car, but please don't be. If you want to try these things, uh, maybe try on something else, maybe just a piece of, uh, I don't know, maybe your desk or something like that, if you don't want to uh, work on a model expensive right away. So basically what you have to do, get your knife, and cut out every single decal separately. All right, I'm well aware that these decals aren't the most difficult ones to do, but still, I like to work on one decal at a time, so I won't be done, and I highly suggest you won't be dunking these two in the water and just let it sit there. Put it off to the side until you need them. So you get the model. So basically what you do is the little cutout of the Marlboro sponsor logo, and you put it into water, make sure it sinks to the bottom. Make sure it really soaks up all the water. What we'll need then is to get your brush, put a little bit of water on where you have to place your decal, which in this case is the front of the nose of the car, which again isn't the most difficult. All right, after you've applied your water, I like to do a mix of both with the micro set and water, just in case. Don't use too much micro set because if it dries up, it will leave really ugly stains and I highly suggest you won't be using too much. All right, get your toothpick, your bowl will war, and you basically drag that stuff out of there. All right, get your toothpick, decal next to the model, and just slowly drag your decal onto the model. Make sure it covers the exact spot it needs to be. The backing paper you can just throw away, it's basically useless. And what you then have to do is get a um, Q-tip, that's the word, Q-tip. Get the uh, Q-tip, basically very carefully roll on the decal to make sure the water gets pushed out. Don't push too hard. If you push too hard, the decal won't be in the original position, so please make sure you're gentle with it. All right, that's number one done. All right, second one is a little bit more difficult because we're working with a curve there. But again, no biggie, get your brush. Dip it in water, brush the area you want the decal to be on, put it out, grab it by the edge, very carefully slide it on the place you want it to go. Again, get your Q-tip, very carefully work around the edges, don't want it sliding around too much. To be fair, it will always slide to some extent, but minimalize the sliding. All right, don't puzzle around with it too much. You're never gonna get it 100% right, if you applied any of these, make sure you don't touch it for at least a day, maybe even longer. I wouldn't really recommend any stages of touching it anyway. First one is very scary. Second one, maybe a little bit scary. Third one, piece of cake. And by the way, make sure you wash your hands. I always wash my hands before the video. Don't do this with any dirty hands. Maybe use some pliers or some uh, pinch tools. Um, I'm not an expert when it comes to these kind of things. So maybe a lot of people will cringe that I dilute this microset with water. Um, 
guess some people will be very angry. So um, last one, last thing I want to say about these kind of decals, it, it should slide off very easily. If it doesn't slide off very easily, it's probably not wet enough. So dunk it in the water again. All right, that should be good. I won't be putting on the Microsoft for today's video uh, because there aren't any panel lines anyway. Uh, you could use this for another reason, which is basically to get that painted on look. At first, you're very intimidated by water slide decals, but when you do it more often, you actually think, hey, it's actually pretty all right and it really enhances model, especially models like these where it's just more historically accurate. Some people may be watching this video and really cringe because I dumped the brush in water and a micro sole or set or whatever it is. I was confused these two. To those people I say, well, that's too bad because it works anyways. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, very short video and um, I'll make sure to put a link up in the description for you to watch this review. Yeah, thank you very much for watching and I hope you really enjoyed it. Hope you learned it and um, make sure to put on some water slide decals. So thank you very much.